Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about new manufacturing processes and some things I noticed given an email I just got from a vendor that I might be dealing with about 3D printed parts. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got a couple perfect examples here. And this is about a video I made previously about the Voitech uh, cable guards or cable security devices. I just found out that they're 3D printed. I had no idea. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'll show you exactly why I was so confused. So guys, this is the Voitech cable security device that I did a review video on. They shipped it to me as a surprise and I looked it over. I said it was a pretty good product. You know, I normally would think that these are molded. They felt very dense. The material is extremely dense. There's no flashing, which is odd because uh, molded devices usually have flashing, maybe even a seam where the mold comes together. And I didn't see that seam, so I was a little confused. Just the density is, is really high on this plastic. So anyway, I just kind of assumed it was some sort of new uh, carbon composite, which Guys, this here is an example of a carbon composite. You can see uh, the cross structure inside it. This is actually a piece from a surgical table. You can see it right there. So this is a cross section of, of a platform on a surgical table. Now it's, it's extremely dense. You can see the material is very similar to what was on the Voitech, but it's pressed and it's pressed under you know many many tons and it comes out like this so it's a mixture of carbon fiber and maybe some plastic material and this is what you get you can see right there the edges are factory very similar to what this was so i didn't really know how they made it i didn't really ask but today i have an email that says that it's 3d printed and that made me even more confused because I had to take a really good look at them and finally I could see some similarities on the 3D printing. So guys, this is a typical 3D printed part. Now, quality wise, it seems to be pretty good. It's lighter weight than what you would normally think. So I don't know if it's hollow on the inside. Uh, you know, there can be a cross structure inside and I would never see it, but it's, it's very durable, but the normal tell-all for a 3D printing is striations. And you can see right here, striations are the lines for the layers. You see that? So this is very typical of what we see for most 3D printed parts is some degree of striations. Some of them are so loose on some parts that if they're not thermally bound together, they'll come off like little hairs. But these ones here on these parts are actually really good. These parts right here are for a system of uh, Milwaukee Packout so that you can make your own Milwaukee Packout things uh, like a cleat. These are all cleats for Milwaukee Packout and they're all 3D printed by somebody off the internet and shipped to me to take a look at. But you can see there's striations even in the countersink holes and on the underside, and that's fine uh, because, I mean, they serve no real purpose other than being maybe a little unesthetic, but you can always see the layers with 3D printing. And with these, whatever process they're using is really impressive because it looks almost like a molded or pressed part. I mean, the density would make me think it's a pressed part, but there on a closer look, you can see on the edge, you can start to see the striations right there, which is, you know, I guess you could say it's a, a defect, but it's not, it's really just a trait of the manufacturing process. So here you go. It's so impressive that these are 3D printed parts because it's such a high density plastic and there's no real evidence. there's no real evidence of 3D printing. You know, it's, it's so little. You can see maybe a little bit right here on the joint. Very, very little. But whatever process they're using, the plastic is super dense. It's very precise. 
and there's no bonding issues whatsoever in that plastic. I will definitely say that. But you can also see that they put lettering in. It is very clear, too. I mean, that means that whatever process they're using is really high-definition printing. So, guys, without it being a pressed part like this uh, carbon composite, which is what I kind of assumed it was, you know, where they have a mold and they press it down into it. Uh, and thermally, they you know they apply heat and they bind it together. Just how these are formed, it is 3D printed, it's very similar to this, but a different process. So I'm very curious how they did that. Uh, the company that reached out to me, uh, I was very interested in their their process. And let's see, Gmail. Let me pull up the company. So uh, the, pro the company is called Shapeways. Okay, so Shapeways is how they, uh, that's the company that did the printing. And I have to give it to them. That is an excellent part, especially for 3D printing. And that just goes to show you that manufacturing is changing, even for medical, for something that would normally cost tens of thousands of dollars because you'd have to make a mold out of aluminum. And there's a lot of factors when you get a mold uh, molds degrade over time. They do. And the more parts, the higher density plastic that you inject into the molds, that means that it wears out the mold faster. So if you do glass fiber reinforced plastic, um, they mold, you know the glass fibers wear out the molds even quicker. So a lot of the detail just wouldn't stay. So we do 3D printing. Things like the lettering on these parts for glass fiber reinforced, um, it would definitely destroy the mold much quicker. But uh, anyway, guys, I, I'm really impressed. Uh, Shapeways, they make uh, 3D parts uh, using a 3D printer, and I never would have expected it. I, I could have looked a little more into detail. But uh, my family's got a, a plastics factory back in Michigan, and I've worked there, and I've, I've seen the whole process of, like, CNC machining the molds and, you know, running them through injection molded machines and stuff. But those all have drawbacks, and the biggest drawback is obviously cost. 3D printing is going to be uh, the thing of the future, guys. So we can get these higher density materials that have unique properties like strength and durability, but also the manufacturing speed of injection molding. Maybe not quite as fast, but they don't have a lot of the defects of traditional 3D printing, which is interesting. Should have looked a little deeper into it when I received the part, but I just thought maybe it was press molded or something. But Anyway, guys, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you learned something new. There's new manufacturing processes that are coming to the medical sector, and uh, faster than I expected, that's for sure.